the financially troubled stockbroker who served as the middleman in an unusual deal to help finance the ill-fated Broadway show Rebecca was arrested early on Monday on federal fraud charges that detail a stranger-than-fiction storyline that might be the envy of any playwright but for its outcome. The show's spectacular collapse. In recent weeks, federal authorities had begun scrutinizing the stockbroker, Mark C. Houghton, 46, and his role in the deal and the $12 million show's collapse last month. The show's lead producer, Ben Sprecher, speaking through his lawyer, last week accused thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Him of fabricating for mysterious investors who were going to put up $4.5 million in desperately needed funds for the show. At about 6 a.m. on Monday, FBI agents took Mr. Houghton into custody at his waterfront home in West Islip, Ben Y and he is expected to appear in federal court in Central Islip, Ben Y, later Monday, officials said. The two-count criminal complaint charges him with defrauding the show's producers of $60,000 and also accused him in an unrelated $750,000 real estate scheme which prosecutors said featured some of the same deceptions used in the Rebecca Thank You for Trying Verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Fraud. Mr. Houghton's arrest was announced by the Office of United States Attorney in Manhattan, Preet Bharara, and Mary E. Dalligan, the acting assistant director in charge of the New York FBI office, in a news release issued early Monday morning. As described in the criminal complaint, Mark Houghton perpetrated stranger-than-fiction frauds both on and off Broadway, Mr. Bharara said in the news release. As part of one alleged scheme, Houghton concocted a cast of characters to invest in a major musical investors who turned out to be deep-pocketed phantoms. To carry thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Out the alleged fraud, Houghton faked lives, faked companies and even staged a fake death, pretending that one imaginary investor had suddenly died from malaria. He added, ultimately, Houghton's imagination was no match for the FBI which uncovered, with lightning speed, his alleged financial misdeeds. Ms. Galligan said Mr. Houghton wrote, directed and starred in the work of fiction he took to Broadway, adding that a convincing portrayal on stage can earn you a Tony while a convincing act that fleeces a production's backers can earn you a prison term. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Mr. Houghton's lawyer, Gerald L. Shargel, said in an email message early Monday morning that he had not yet seen the charges and that he would delay comment until I have the allegations before me.